Good day and welcome to my channel. How to make a granny square. Firstly, make a slip knot. Followed by six chain. This is going to make the circle for your square. Slip stitch into the very first chain. Then three chain. But first move your tail to the side of your work. Two double crochets. Three chain. And we're going to repeat the three double crochets and the three chain. You can see I'm crocheting over the tail. Again, three double crochets. Every three chain counts as the corner for your granny square. Three chain and three double crochets and three chain. Slip stitch into the very top of the very first three chain you made. I'm changing color so snubbity snub. And now I'm going to show you how I join the yarn. But first, there are the th four spaces for your square. This is how I join or add a new color of yarn to my work. And one double crochet. Let me show you that again. Simply hold firm, twist, yarn over into the three chain space. You're going to make three double crochets, three chain, three double crochets, and that's your first corner done. Into now three chain, and into the next corner, repeat. Three double crochet, three chain, and three double crochet. Second corner, done. Chain three. And we move to the th third corner, where we again, three double crochet, get some yarn there. Three chain, and three double crochet. And I'm moving that tail again so that I can crochet over it. It makes it easier and it's less for me to work in at the end of my square. Three chain, three double crochet, last corner, that's the three chain and three double crochet, three chain. Again, slip stitch into the top part of your very first stitch. Make a slip stitch and I'm changing yarn for the third time. Pull that nice and taunt and I like to work in my yarn tails with my crochet needle instead of using an actual needle to do it. I find it quicker and faster. But it's your choice. You can use a wool needle to work your threads in. So this snubbity snub. And now we're going to move on. Again, you can see four corners, and here we're moving on. I'm going to be using the blue thread. Same joining like how I did previously to add the new wool. And it's three double crochet in the corner, three chain space. So it's three chain, three double crochet, and that makes a corner. In the three chain space, you're going to put three double crochets, but first three chain, three double crochet. Oops, again, I need to move that tail so I can work over it. That's three double crochet, three chain, and now the corner. 
which I'm sure you'll all know by now is three chain. There we go, the three chain, three double crochet. And our second corner is done, three chain, three double crochets in the middle three chain of the previous row, three chain, third corner, three double crochets, followed by three chain, and three double crochets. That's the third corner, all done, three chain, three double crochets, And three chain, three double crochets in the last corner, followed by three chain, three double crochets, last corner done, three chain, three double crochets in the three chain of the previous row, three chain, and again join slip stitch at the top of that stitch pull out slip stitch again pull your yarn a bit taunt and snubbity snub and basically that is it very very simple now i'm using a smaller crochet hook size to work my tails in as i said previously i find this easier and less time consuming although for some reason I seem to be battling here but here we go in out pull pull again work that tails nice and firmly in the top one also right we are nearly nearly done Working that tail in very nicely and pull through, snap, snap, and I'm snapping the pink and I'm going to work in the last part of the pink. Remember, granny squares are very, very easy to make and it's not at all time consuming you can use any type of yarn any color yarn any size of the yarn and here you go don't forget to